Hey guys, welcome to my legal classes. This is Ganesh Pujari and in the series of Indian Penal Code, we are focusing on chapter 3 which is all about punishments covered between section 53 to 75 and in that series this is my fifth video where we are going to focus on section 60 which is all about imprisonment whether it will be rigorous or simple. Who is going to decide this? All that will be understood in my next slide but before going there if you have a question as to why section 58 and 59 are missing in the playlist don't worry about them they are already been repaid i hope that is very clear with that i am taking you to slide number one as always first i will read out section 60 and after that i will discuss the chart but between them i will explain few very very important aspects that we need to remember don't miss that part but before going there, I will quickly read out section 60, the Barak provision. Section 60 discusses about sentences may be given in certain cases of imprisonment wholly or partly rigorous or simple. And the Barak provision says, in every case in which an offender is punishable with imprisonment, which may be of either description, it shall be competent to the court which sentences of offender to direct in the sentence that such imprisonment shall be wholly rigorous or that such imprisonment shall be wholly simple or that any part of such imprisonment shall be rigorous and the rest simple. Now that is the Barak provision. I will explain that Barak provision in the below chart but before we go to chart I have certain important aspects that you guys need to remember always. Never miss those points. What are those points? The first point that you need to remember here is imprisonment can be broadly divided into two categories. One, life imprisonment. Second one, imprisonment for a particular term. Guys, always remember in IPC there will be no mention like rigorous life imprisonment or simple life imprisonment. There will be mention of life imprisonment and whenever you see life imprisonment that straight away means that rigorous imprisonment. I repeat guys whenever it is life imprisonment it is rigorous life imprisonment. There is nothing called simple life imprisonment. That is a very 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 important aspect you need to remember. I hope that is very clear. The second part, whenever there is imprisonment other than life imprisonment for a particular term, the act will mention either rigorous or simple. Those are called descriptions. So that is why the second line is mentioned either description. If in the act it is mentioned as rigorous imprisonment, then it is straight away rigorous imprisonment. Court cannot use its brain because Legislature has already made law. Making law is the job of legislature and judiciary has to implement it. If legislature has already defined is as a rigorous imprisonment, it has a rigorous imprisonment. In that case, it will be rigorous imprisonment. And if the punishment is very clearly mentioned as simple imprisonment, in that case, the imprisonment will be simple. That is no using of brain by the judiciary but in certain cases there is freedom to judiciary that is what we are discussing under section 60. So understand section 60 easily let's get into my chart. Now whenever the punishment under IPC is mentioned as imprisonment of either description. Now this is a very very important four words that we need to remember imprisonment of either description. Now imprisonment is very clear we know it is confinement in the jail and what is either description? It may be rigorous or simple. Now the punishment says that imprisonment of either description. Now here under those circumstances court is competent to decide whether to give rigorous imprisonment or to give simple imprisonment or to give partly rigorous imprisonment and partly simple imprisonment. For example, if it is a 10 years imprisonment and the act says imprisonment of either description. Now court is competent to give 10 years of rigorous imprisonment or 10 years of simple imprisonment or 
फाइव इयर्स ऑफ रिगरस इंप्रिजनमेंट एंड रिमेनिंग फाइव इयर्स एज सिंपल इंप्रिजनमेंट और मे बी सेवन इयर्स ऑफ रिगरस इंप्रिजनमेंट एंड थ्री इयर्स ऑफ सिंपल इंप्रिजनमेंट और मे बी टू इयर्स ऑफ रिगरस इंप्रिजनमेंट and 8 years of simple imprisonment we already know what is rigorous and simple imprisonment rigorous means there will be hard labor whereas in simple imprisonment there will not be hard labor that we have already understood while discussing about the first section that is section 53 under imprisonment i hope that is very clear and why do we need to understand imprisonment of either description because when i try to find in how many places this particular term is used in the bear act i found it in 327 places that many times the act gives right to the court to decide whether to give rigorous imprisonment or simple imprisonment or party rigorous and party simple so this particular decision will be with the court so that is why this becomes very very important to understand this i hope whenever there is act is very clear as to rigorous imprisonment that should be punished with rigorous imprisonment whenever there is very clear as to simple imprisonment that will be treated as simple imprisonment whenever it is life imprisonment we need to understand that life imprisonment with rigorous imprisonment wherever there is a mention as to imprisonment of either description that court is competent to decide whether to give rigorous or to give simple or to give partly rigorous and partly simple i hope that is very clear and that's all about section 60 and i have few important sections to understand how we need to understand imprisonment of either description but before going there i have about 120 seconds of commercial i will finish that and then we will get into few of the important sections where we can see imprisonment of either description the class will continue in between i just wanted to share an important update with you guys i have joined the an academy team as an educator for clat 2023 batch and i would like to request you all to download the an academy app and follow me there also and while buying the subscription over there please buy the subscription with my code gyan07 that is gan07 to get additional 10% discount and what's happening in an academy this week i am conducting classes on general exceptions as well as the burden of proof etc and at the same time there is a beginners batch starting for the year 2023 for clat from 13th october 2021 now you can get the details of all those classes in an academy app and for my classes you can also join ganesh pujari law for all telegram group where i will keep updating my daily classes there please join that telegram group so that you get all information other than that the law vista batch is starting on 15th october 2021 this is the beginners batch for clat 2023 if you are an aspirant please join that too here i have brought few sections for you guys to understand as to what is imprisonment of either description and as i already told there are at 327 places in the bear act provisions we can find this term that means in many many places this right is given to the court and one such example is section 143 where the punishment is whoever is a member of an unlawful assembly shall be punished with imprisonment of either description for a term which may extend to 6 months or with fine or with both now here if the court decides to give 6 month imprisonment for the offender court may give 3 months of rigorous imprisonment 3 months of simple imprisonment or court may decide to give 6 month of rigorous imprisonment itself or 6 month of simple imprisonment whatever court can do with that particular section because it is very clearly mentioned imprisonment of either description i have given the example of few other sections also you can read through pause the video and read through and you will understand how exactly that particular term is used in a nutshell whenever it is imprisonment of either description such punishments will be decided by the court whether they will be rigorous or they will be simple or they want to divide it into partially rigorous and partially simple and while dividing it need not to be 50% each court will divide as per its discretion sometime it may give 20% of rigorous imprisonment and remaining as simple or whatever combination it wants to give 
according to the severeness of that particular offense the court will decide i hope that is very clear and with that belief i am handing over this presentation to nishan always remember that you only fail when you stop trying with that i'm concluding this session please subscribe our channel please like share and comment our videos thank you bye bye